Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about AMC Entertainment. Taking some more AMC. Today we have started off very nicely. We are at 51.86 as of the current market price. We're up 3.39%. We opened at the gap up of a 51.82 today. So everything's looking very bullish. We also have a lot of bullish factors such as the short interest at an all time high around 20%, which is a year to date record. I'll be showing about that later on in this video. Just pretty much a lot of big momentum coming in this week. Like I said, guys, on a Friday, we left off with a very bullish momentum. It was inevitable that it was going to come into this week with a very nice momentum. I do forget to put, plot this line. So Friday ended in the green and this Monday, we are also starting with a green. So that's extremely good for us. And so I'll be talking about in this video, the technical analysis, the short interest and really how that is useful for us and how we could potentially be looking at an all-time high this week. So in this video, if you guys find it useful or enjoyed it, feel free to click that like button down below. It costs you guys nothing but help get this video spread out to the whole community. Also click that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date and watch more. On that, let's get straight into the video. So first thing we can see here uh, for all text, on Friday, the exchanges released short interest for August 31st, as I was surprisingly high for AMC. We're at a short interest at 20.41% of short interest. And, you know, again, this is an all-time high. If we go over here to Matt course, short interest, 20.41%, year-to-day record, utilization rate, 90.87, shares on loan, 111.59 million. And so a lot of things is looking very bullish for us. You know, today it's looking extremely positive for us. The only difficulty right now we are having is, of course, the 5203. This could provide some difficulty in terms of the candle ending in green today. However, there is nothing to worry about. I'll be talking about that later on in this video. So before we get on the technical analysis, let's look at you know, some of the other data, such as Stone Con Tracker. We have 1.1 million shares available to borrow. So that obviously has inc uh, increased quite a lot. We were looking at 250,000 shares available to borrow. Now we're looking at 1.1 million. Now one could, you know, there is two obviously ways to look at this. One way is maybe there are more shares available to borrow now in terms of the fact that the shares that originally um, were borrowed and shorted is still there and they found more shares. Or we could look at it as that some of the shares originally used to short have been covered and that's why we see so much um, shares available to borrow. But either way, it's looking very good for us. And obviously we want to hear in terms of shorts are covering because that's extremely bullish for us. Going down here, one thing to obviously note is the options activity this week. With the price going up, we're only going to see more OTM calls kind of go in the money. And that is, of course, going to possibly lead to the gamma squeeze. That's why it's important. Uh, you know, that is something that we do have to be watching out. Why is the gamma squeeze useful? Why are we keeping uh, you know an eye on the gamma squeeze? That's obviously because the gamma squeeze is ultimately what could help us bring that momentum in this week to lead us to that new all-time high. Because possibly we need this uh, momentum to kind of go above that 63.74. The all-time high was obviously 72.62. So if you can get this momentum to go above, so, um, you know, 52.03, if we talk about a 30% increase, you know, we could see about the price around at 67.98. But if we can get that momentum to break 63.74, we're definitely going to see a lot more momentum coming in to create that new all-time high. So that's why the gamma squeeze is important. Now, even if we don't see a gamma squeeze this week, there is nothing to obviously worry about. You know, everything right now is going on track. In fact, maybe not seeing a spike in price could be even more useful because if we see AMC slowly going up, more people might be inclined to hold onto it. But if they see a sudden squeeze of, you know, 30%, they might want to sell their share so that they don't kind of lose out on the maximum profit or at least in that time, the maximum profit. And so even the steady price could be useful for us as there is nothing to worry about. Before we go further into this video, I do want to show up this screenshot and it's MC, as the squeeze is upon us, please take into consideration the smaller account. The guys who have single digits and under $100, uh, under 100 shares, these are most likely the people working 9 to 5, struggling and trying their hardest to do their part. Let's hold for them. And again, guys, you know, this is very important because AMC right now, for those of you who have held for a long time, you obviously be in very good profit. You know, when AMC was uh, at once at $5, $6. But a lot of people pretty much, you know, this is one of the best opportunities of the lifetime right now you know we can talk about bitcoin and other stuff but in terms of the opportunity that is in this recent time amc is definitely one of the best opportunities at least it's one of the most open opportunities that everyone can participate in and it's important that you know some of us are in a more well-off position again like i said guys i'm only gonna when the squeeze does happen 
I'm, I'm gonna hold on to a lot of my shares. I may only take 10, 20% profit, but the rest of my shares will be held in order to beat all the short positions. I'm okay with obviously not making as much money from AMC as possible, but I definitely want the people who watch my videos, the people who need the money the most to make as much money as possible they can for AMC. And you know, I really hope that everyone um, you know do well. Everyone who watches my videos, even if you don't, even if you're just an ape, obviously you won't hear this, but I hope everyone obviously make the most they can from this and really change your life. And you know, again, for the ones who are better off than some other people, you know, considering right now, if you are worried, again, this is not financial advice, so do take a grain of salt. But if you, you know, are worried, you need to understand that a lot of people are depending on this, but a lot of people also are holding along with you. So there's nothing to worry about and let's do it for everyone. Let's make sure the ape community grow as a whole. So that's what I'm gonna talk about. Going down here, um, you know, the short data, nothing, short potential is nothing to be looking at. Today, we'll be looking at a new short percentage. So that will be quite important to see how today is doing. Now, going on to kind of um, why I said today we might be faced with a little difficulty. So if you got all you guys know that every Friday when we ended in the green for the last five weeks, the next Monday we had uh, the candle ended in green. And this week, you know, we have, we, you know, we obviously want to see the candle end in green. But one problem is we could not end in green because we are at resistance at 52.03. And so, you know, that could obviously provide a little a bit of difficulty in the term, in the fact that it may not close um, in a green candle. And I hope for the sake, you know, and this is to kind of anyone who, don't, who doesn't see a green candle, there is nothing to worry about. Obviously, ending in a green candle is extremely good and it's a very nice sentiment for AMC. However, you know, it is nothing to be worrying about if it doesn't end in a green candle, as long as the price today we open, you know, above the Friday's close, that's obviously something that's sort of already positive for us. Um, I feel like we're more likely to gonna see an end in green just because of the momentum coming in today. Um, you know, the RSI still gone, haven't gone over 70, so everything is just really looking very bullish for AMC, but you know, in the chance that it doesn't because my video will be uploaded um, not as soon as I make this, it will obviously be with a bit of delay. It will still be before the market ends, but you know, we obviously have to watch in terms of how AMC can react. But you know, if it doesn't end in the green, don't worry about it. As long as it doesn't end before um, lower than Friday's close, we are looking good for AMC. Let's talk about you know really about what we should be watching out for and why I'm talking about you know the the kind of why we could reach an all time high. Firstly. 52.03 is a resistance. If today we can close above 52.03, that'll be extremely positive for us. That'll be extremely bullish for AMC. But you know, one of the thing is, is that right now, just like how on Stone Contractor we see 1.1 million shares available to borrow, it could mean that ones that are, and I'm not talking about the big hedge funds with billions, but rather the small people maybe um, who are taking the short positions down here, they're gonna start have the covering, um, you know, as we are getting up here. One of the biggest, you know, the what we see as resistance is what they see as support. So the ones that have shorted around, you know, this area will use this as a support for them. If it doesn't break their support, they don't have to break their, they don't have to cover their shorts. But if it does, they'll have to cover their shorts. And so today, if we can end above fifty two oh three, if we can end above their support, which is again our resistance, then you know they will have to, it will come to the point they have to cover their short positions. And when we cover those, when they cover those short positions. We're gonna see the price ending up to the point where, you know, some of the people then again, more people have to cover their short positions. And again, here I'm not referring to the big hedge funds because we know that they're over leveraged. We know that they still technically have a lot of money to obviously be helping them out. But in terms of the smaller ones that, you know, have maybe say 100, 200 shares shorted or even more, you know, those are the ones that are gonna to have to cover their short positions. 100, 200 shares may not sound like a lot, but all of, a lot of them added together will obviously make an impact just how you know, when we buy 100, 200 shares, it may not mean a lot, but the ape community all buy 100 or 200 shares, you know, it adds up and it becomes a lot. And so this is the same for short positions. And so that's why it's another good thing. And again, you know, the gamma squeeze. And so this week is looking like a very bullish week. We could definitely see a lot of momentum and that's why we could see that new all time high. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to press that like and subscribe button down below. Comment down below what you guys think about AMC and comment down below what you guys want to see next. And with that, enjoy your day.